In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to use Opacity Mask. First, we will create paper cutout background and then you will see how to create stunning design with Opacity Mask and how to easily edit and change it. After this tutorial, you will understand how to manage with Opacity Mask and will be able to experiment with it in your own artworks. You are watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download this image reference and colors by the link in the video description. Just create layers for them and place them like so. First of all, let's create new layer. Let's bring this layer on top and rename it to Paper Cut. I for Eyedropper 2, let's pick this color. P for Pen 2. And let's just draw a first shape like this. Let's press V for Selection tool, deselect this shape, let's pick this color now, P for Pen tool, and let's draw another shape. Just don't create too many points. As you can see, I have only 6 points in this object, you should have close amount of points, or exactly the same amount of points. V for Selection tool, deselect this object, let's pick this color. P for Pen tool. Let's draw another shape. Deselect this one. Let's pick yellow color again. Let's draw the last shape, like this. Let's bring this shape down. I will pick this shape, A for Direct Selection tool. You can pick any point you want. And move it like so. Let's bring this layer up. I do this just to make design look more interesting. Now let's select all these objects. Effect. Stylize. Drop Shadow. Click on Preview. And I will enter 0 in these windows. Click on Preview again. You can play with blurring and with opacity. As you can see, we've created paper cutout effect here. If you want to make more realistic and complicated paper cutout effect, you can watch paper cutout landscape tutorial. Right now, let's create new layer and let's rename it to opacity mask. Let's pick this color, M for rectangle tool. Just draw a rectangle like this. V for selection tool. Deselect this rectangle. Now you can type anything you want here. Now we want to apply this text to this rectangle as mask. To do this, select this text, Ctrl C to make a copy, delete it, select rectangle, properties, opacity, click here to make mask, click here on clip. This rectangle means mask mode. And this rectangle means normal mode. So let's select mask mode. Let's open layers panel. And you can see that we don't have any layers here. Because we're in mask mode. And for now we don't have any elements in opacity mask mode. So let's add our element. Let's press Ctrl Shift V to place our text directly in place where it was before it was deleted. Now we can see all objects through this mask. Why can we see all objects through our mask? Because our object is in black color. Let's click here on color palette. I will select grayscale mode. Because in mask mode there is no colors. Masking works only with black color, white color and all grades of gray from white to black. Let me show you this. If we will apply white color, we won't see anything. If we will start to move this slider to some kind of gray colors, it will be more or less transparent. If you want it to be fully transparent, just apply black color, like this. This is not all. In opacity mask mode, you can add even more objects, as many as you want, and play with combinations. Let me show you this. First that you need is to pick black color for example or white color. 
P for pen tool. Let's just draw shape like this. You can duplicate this shape. And as you can see, you have unlimited amount of variations to play with your design. This is very handy and very quick. In opacity mask mode, you can't pick any other objects and that is very handy also. You can create any shapes you want. Move them like this. You can build rectangle like this here. Bring it down like so. Let's select this text and apply white color. So you can play with these combinations like this. You can make this design look more interesting. Let's delete this shape. P for pen tool. Let's draw a shape like this. Let's bring this layer up. A for direct selection tool. I will delete this layer. Let's pick this text layer. Apply black color again. And how can you return to normal mode? With this text selected, properties, opacity, and click on this icon. But my personal recommendation, to work faster, you should click here on window and select transparency. Now you have this menu here. And if you know that you will experiment with opacity mask, a lot, you can move this window somewhere here, it will be always active. Now you can quickly change modes. Why you might want to switch between these modes? Because you can open layers, lock this layer, and move all other objects, like this. You can quickly play with design, you already see Result. Let's change proportions. Like so. And now you've decided to change something in your mask. You're unlocking this layer. Selecting it. And clicking here on opacity mask. After you applied some changes. You might want to edit something in normal mode again. You are simply clicking here. As you can see, it's very fast and easy to switch between these modes when you have your transparency panel somewhere here. Also, what I wanted to show you here is that with opacity mask mode, you don't need to expand text and then use Pathfinder to see all objects through this text. We are simply applying mask, then we can switch to mask, and after this, you can change text to any text you want. Like this. In conclusion, I would say that to use opacity mask quickly, you need transparency panel active to easily switch between modes. Everything else is a matter of experimenting and practicing. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe. And what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.